Good morning, Matrix. We're looking at our pad for 2021, and the civil pad is about a timeshare resort. So first, I tell you about stand 82, which is uh, which belongs to the owner, and then they give you a whole story about stand 81 and 83. But we are going to ignore stand 81 and 83 because it doesn't belong to the owner yet. Still busy with that. So stand 82 is where this timeshare project is going to start. So the owner wants us to design a single story building for a um, reception area for the time share resort on stand 82. But this um, reception area will also consist uh, of other rooms such as a day spa, coffee shop, etc. But we'll get into that later. So they also give us the site plan for stand 82 and this is our focus area and they tell us that this single story building will be built between the municipal um, sewerage line. So let's quickly just go to the site plan and uh, I would like to indicate this sewerage line over here. So it's this line over here and then it will also be um, between the southeast building line so the southeast building line is if we look at our north symbol there is north over here that's south and then we've got the west on this side and the east over here so if i make a little line over there that will be southeast so looking at our side plan again southeast building line will be on this side so our building needs to be in between these two lines and that's we can actually work out how big that space is by using the total distance over here with the distance over here and that should give us an indication of how um, big this area over here is so on the southeast side we also have the river and then on the northwest side, we have Blessbrook Street, which will also be the entrance to our site plan. They also tell us that the entry door must be a modern uh, large entry do doors, which will then face um, the street. Okay, so that's also important. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take different areas and discuss them with you and the first of those areas will be our reception area so looking at our reception area the reception area will have four meter high ceilings and this gives us an indication of how high our walls must be for our floor plans then the floor area must not be less than 65 square meters and then the reception area must also have aluminium stacking doors that will lead onto a deck and this deck will then be for seating eating and drinking so now looking at the wooden deck next i'm going to also just point out what must happen around and with the deck area as well so now looking at the wooden deck uh, this is also part of our research product, so you need to go and research wooden decks for something like this. And uh, first thing over here is that our wooden deck must uh, be a 80 square meter wooden deck. And it must also look uh, out onto the river. The floors must be the same level as the house. And then it must have a 1 meter secure railing for safety. So that is then in terms of the wooden deck. And like I said, this is a research product as well as the wooden decks uh, to go and look at the layout and the construction and the drawing thereof. So it will obviously help you with the project. So we're going to go back to our reception area and look at um, where does our reception area then lead to. So our reception area will lead on to the following areas. We already spoke about the wooden deck. And then we will also have a small admin office. Then there will be a coffee shop. 
and then male and female toilet facilities and then the last one the reception area will also lead on to the day spa okay so the next area with that we are going to look at will then uh, be the coffee shop and we'll discuss everything that needs to take place within that coffee shop so our coffee shop will also have aluminium stacking doors that will lead onto the reception area and then it needs a large display fridge so this coffee shop will only be selling pre-prepared uh, foods and then obviously also drinks and therefore doesn't need a large kitchen but more a large display fridge so then the next thing will be the preparation and serving counters and then also a double sink and then lastly um, the room or the coffee shop must not exceed 12 square meters right so that is then our coffee shop we're now moving on to our men's and uh, female toilet facilities our male toilet will have a toilet a single wall mounted urinal and a basin whereas the female toilets will then have a toilet and a single hand wash basin so these are actually just small toilet facilities for people obviously booking in to the uh, um, resort so it doesn't need a lot of things so looking at our day spa you'll see that this is the larger room and may not exceed 100 square meters it must also consist of an open area where there will be a small swimming pool indoor swimming pool and um, this is the part that you also need to research is small indoor swimming pools and then there will also be a treatment room which will be 12 um, squares plus minus 12 squares so this is an area for massages and oils etc then there will be a small staff room and this staff room will contain a built-in counter with a single sink for washing hands and then for the staff as well a change room then there will be an open area this open area will serve as a reception so this is a separate reception uh, to um, our uh, to our timeshare um, and this will be for the day spa with a seat area which is also obviously necessary the day spa will also have a change room with a separate toilet a basin and a shower then four lockers within this change room a wall mounted bench bench for seating and then a space to also change um, change clothing etc okay so this is everything in terms of the building um, i'm now just going to discuss a few important extra information and factors with regards to the planning of your floor plan so the last bit of information contains the roof this roof will be a pitched roof and it will cover half the timber deck okay so you got to plan it so that it runs obviously over the top of the building and covers half of your timber deck deck as well then aluminium frames for all doors and windows this is due to the fact that it is obviously near water a river and there are some humidity uh, factors that play a role there then all rooms to have enough windows remember we've got a view over here overlooking the river so we obviously want to bring that view indoors as well and then the last very important thing is that the building um let me just get my pen there so the building for um this plan must not exceed 280 square meters so that is the maximum um, size for our floor area right so that is all the information with regards to your pad that you'll need uh, for the planning of the freehand drawings i hope that this summary helps you uh, quite a bit and good luck